this is the most manic depressive way you could possibly live life, right? You're never having a good day. You're either having the best day ever or you think you're about to die. I made uh, $30 million when I was 17. I lost it all by the time I was 20. I think we were so obsessed with what it would do for us that we didn't necessarily see the full potential of how big of an impact we could actually have. Everything you're doing is basically something you're just barely qualified for or not qualified for. It's like jumping off a cliff and having to build your own parachute. I remember writing letters to my friends and family saying, I'm sorry, you don't know me anymore, that sort of thing. Because I just like, I sort of let all of my relationships go because nothing was as important as this. The best entrepreneurs are often either solving their own problems or solving some huge thing and, and they can really change the world. Entrepreneurship at the moment is kind of like the new smoking. It's cool to be creative, it's cool to be making something. I don't know why anybody thinks that like startups are all, you know, rainbows and sunshine. We actually built our own desks from like wood that was lying around in the courtyard. You know, as a 19 year old sitting down looking at that many zeros, you're freaking out. This is the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. Anybody now with a laptop and a Wi-Fi connection can build anything. Uh, I've met kids out here who are, you know, still teenagers and starting companies all the way down to 16 years old, um, which is pretty, pretty crazy when you think about it. When I was working on my first company, when I was 13, I had at least a few hundred customers. I don't remember exactly what the count was, but I think we had something like 30 people before we had our first person above 30. Follow your heart. Follow the thing that really matters to you. If you do that, you will become a big success. Being successful as a young company, there is no feeling like it in the whole world. All these people that, you know, are on magazine covers, they started out just like you. Yeah, I remember it was like a big shock when we got our first employee and we had to like start like wearing clothes to work and having normal business hours. Get your ass off YouTube or Vimeo, stop watching this video and get out there and do it.